Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be playing Horse Paradise. I've been playing this game for a while. It does take a bit to load. It's better if you have Wi-Fi. This is my first gaming video, so bear with me. So we have all these horses here. They've got all different kinds. You can even be a baby one, a flying one, or a unicorn. But this is my horse here. I'm Untamed Fire Bandit. And if we go over here, and you're going to want to click where you want your horse to go. It'll put your horse over by these fields. These fields is where you're going to get all your food. Right now I'm doing pumpkins. As you can see, pumpkins cost 100 but they also give me what I need to level up my horse. I can't tell you how much uh, energy they give you, but that's how you get your horse's energy. You start with apples, which I think they're five, and then I think your carrots are seven. The bananas, I think, are around 11 on energy, and then you've got your pumpkins that are at least more than 37 energy. You can see up there in the top left corner, my horse needs 37 energy. So if I go up here and I've got seven pumpkins, four carrots, and one apple. I don't need the carrots or the apples, so I try to save them up until they add up to what I need. But I usually get my horse ready. That way, whenever I'm ready to do so, I can just go and hit race or I can go and do a free run. So we're going to go and collect the apples over here in this field and get these apples growing, which they take roughly five minutes. Oh, six minutes. You've got four farms, which right now in these ones, I can only grow one pumpkin at a time. I could grow two, but I need two gems. And as you can see up in the top right corner, I've only got four gems. We need as much horseshoes as we can get. In this game, horseshoes act as if it were money. So, just scroll around. If you see stuff like this, um, I don't really worry about the horseshoes that are lying around too much. But you can go and pick them up. And they do help out with money. As you see, it changed me from 1037 to 1038 horseshoes. There's a horseshoe drop which it tells you in an hour and 51 minutes they're gonna have another one. And that horseshoe drop is what you had just seen the horseshoe line around. They come and put about 10 of them out. You can go run around try to collect all 10. Um, you can check out somebody else's horse. Uh, this is Noah Corbett. So their horse is a level 5. I'm assuming he's either a beginner or he had just started out with that horse. And you can also chat with other people. I'll type here. So we're just going to let them know that we are recording. Some people prefer to kind of stay out of the way of it. Oh, I may not. Let's be a little more specific here. Because I'm not technically YouTube, but I'm YouTubing. So we fix that from YouTube to YouTubing. Um, oh, look, there he is right there. And see, I can stay in this view, but if I want to get out of it, I can do that. Now I can do the same view with my horse, which, let's see... Let's go ahead and we're going to zoom out. Um, by the way, my account username is Untamed Fire Bandit, but my horse's name is Maggie. So, you see the green circle that appears? That's where I'm clicking to tell my horse to go in that area. You can go and run in the water. I'll show you guys what's down this way. Down here, I 
don't have anything. It's going to be the other section on where a Mandy Apple must want to be a part of our video here. So we're going to go around this thing. I think somewhere over here there was... Oh, no, 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 no. I must have opened that area because I used to have some gates there. I have been playing for a while, so you won't see everything that you would see in the beginning. But if we go ahead and zoom out here, see we have our horse in the water. Hmm. We'll go ahead and just go to this little island. Ooh, there we are. And we've already arrived. So anyway, that's basically what you do up on the uh, map anyway. You have more areas you can open up, but I'm only level, uh, let's see, quest level. Because you got your horse level. This horse is level 9. I did have a level 53, but I got rid of it to uh, get a new horse. I'm level... 18 and I leap and I need a level 19 for my next quest quest which will be hunt for potions in mystic caves if you guys wanted to watch the next video just to see kind of what some of those are you're more than welcome to there will be more um, but let's just go back over here to our farms just because that's my usual area Let's see, we could just watch our horse, Let's see kind of where it's running, and it kind of helps you learn the map too, the map can be a little tricky here and there, um, if you accidentally click on an area you don't mean to click on, or uh, say you can't get the camera adjusted to where you want it to be, it can be a little frustrating. And then if you want to see how many horses you have, you have this button on the bottom left corner. It says stables, so you're going to want to go to stables. And in my stables, I have Maggie, who's a level 9. And I have Tallulah. She's a level 46. The only reason we are our lower horse is because sometimes you do get quests asking you to have two horses of a certain level. I need three horses of a level 13 and I've only got two horses. I can buy another horse if I want to. But in order to do that you click the bottom left button that says shop. And then you have all these choices up here for your horses. I can do something like this, one of these Mustangs, see I can afford them. But I like to go ahead and save up for the horses that I actually like. Um, one horse that I know I am trying to get currently would be this one right here, the Piebald Sport Frisian. And another one that I've always wanted was one of the Fowls. I've never been a Fowl before, but eventually I would like to get it to where I have one Fowl, one Unicorn, and one Pegasus. Now for the Pegasus and Unicorns, of course we got our Unicorns come first, you'll need a stable level 10. And you need to be quest level 32. So for your quest level, you guys I showed earlier, you click on your, um, <laughs> you'll click on quest and then you'll click on story quests. And that will give you about a rough guesstimate on where you are. Or you can look at the top left where it says 17 quest level. So I've got to get 780 in order to level up to 18. That's where your normal daily quests come in handy. See where it says farm 17 watermelons. Own three horses at level 13. And complete 21 free runs. Here in a little bit, I will show you guys how you can go ahead and do the free runs after we collect these pumpkins to kind of get some more growing. See that one? I can have two pumpkins, and this one I can have one pumpkin. Once I get 10 gems, I can choose to either use them for something else that I need or have it to where I can also grow 10 pumpkins in that as well. 
So we're going to go over here, collect these two pumpkins. I can grow five pumpkins at once, which takes six minutes. So I try to start them as close together as I possibly can. So whenever I'm done doing what I'm doing, I can just come back and collect it all at the same time and go all over again. Well, anyway, we want to go to our horse. Untamed Fire Bandit. We're going to go ahead and feed our horse. Now she's got full energy, so we're going to hit quest. And in order to do your free ones, unfortunately, I have not seen any other way to do this. So if you know, please comment on this below. But so far, this is all I've seen. You're going to want to click go. And you'll wait for it to load. Once it's finished loading, it will go ahead and put you at your free run. Make sure you are ready. It does get faster the longer you go. These ones have no limit. They can go on and on and on. Um, you can miss jumps up to two times. And once you hit two objects, it's over. You have to either spend gems to continue your free run. Or you can quit it and feed your horse again and run again separate run see we hit one so we've got one more go last time i had to hit three thousand feet i've never made it that far but i've made it up to i think it was around five six hundred feet okay so we'll try one more time with our free run Just because we really need those free runs to go ahead and be done. 21 of them can take a while. Depending on how good you are. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and get it done quickly, you can go ahead and run into as many objects as you want. But, of course, the more you collect these horseshoes that I'm getting, the more it's going to help you. Like I said, the more, the more money, the more you can level up, the more you can buy your horses. Um your food, to get whatever you need. It's mainly all it's for. The gems are to help out with that if you don't have what you already need or you just want to speed something up a little bit. See, we got this power button to speed up. We're fixing to hit something, aren't we? Yes. So we're just going to go ahead and use that. That purple gem is what I clicked. And that helps suck in as many horseshoes as you can. So now that we're done with our free run, we're going to go ahead and go back. Wait for it to load us into the map. So let me just make sure that I had went over everything already. We went over our quests. You hit the quest book to go to your quests. That's what I just did. And then you'll want to hit story quest to do your um, player quest level. Um, which is where these come in. Is once you accomplish the quests before them. Um, you can go to your shop here. I don't think I've clicked on that button yet, but I'm clicking. Sorry, everyone. I am recording on a mobile device, so um, I apologize. Okay, so this is also how you can access your store to see all the horses that are in access to you. Um, you've got all these horses, of course, which are going to be horseshoes. These ones are not unlocked yet. We have to unlock them certain levels. Mainly what I'm trying to do is get all my stables to level 10. So that way I have the highest level required for stables. And then all we'd have to worry about is, of course being the highest quest level we can be, which is mainly for our player and not our horse. If you need a little help getting started out and you have the money for it, cool. 
you can buy some of these. You see they got the starter bundle, which gives you uh, two horses, a black and a white one. And it gives you two more, a gray and a strawberry Ron, which is going to be the blue Ron and strawberry Ron. Those are your horses over there to the right. You also get one stable with your horse mask, your uh, the things that go on their legs. You can change their eye color, the color that comes out behind them when they run. All of those are mainly just decoration on how you want your horse to look. It does not help it speed up. It does not make it stronger. It's just for looks. So we're going to go ahead and collect these pumpkins. Let me go back to the stables. Because I think I had one more thing to show you guys before we go ahead and get off. And wait until the next video. So this one's leveled up all the way. As you can see, I have five stars on top of my horse up here. That means that this stable is leveled up. I do not need to spend any more money to level it up. This one is level one. We have one star that is yellow, which means one. Uh, it costs 600 to upgrade, which you see we can afford that, but that'll pretty much put us broke. And since we need, um, you know, 100 for our apple or pumpkins we want to keep that 600 until we build up you know at least a couple thousand once we get at least a couple thousand i'd go ahead and start upgrading that um what i was mainly wanting you to see which i can't really show you right now because that one's level 10 and this one is also level 10 is the fact that the higher you level it up the more that this upgrade cost is gonna be and the more time it will also take so that'll also be where your gems can come in handy is to speed up that time versus waiting 24 15 hours maybe 36 hours however long i had to wait for the other ones you can just go ahead <clears throat> and spin your gems now this horse i believe has everything i can get it for now because if your player level is not high enough to collect an item, it doesn't matter how high that level's horse that horse level is, you won't be able to collect it until you get a high enough player level. Level 9. You see she's got these masks. We've got the pink heart mask, the spotted mask. We got purple leg wraps, which I can show you what they all look like, but I kind of like what she's wearing, so we'll keep it on. We've got that. That's our spotted mask. Then down here on the bottom is our purple leg wraps. We've also got neon heart leg wraps. We've also got rainbow leg wraps, which would be good if I had the matching set. Flower leg wraps, that's what I've had on her. We have white and pink leg wraps. We've got orange tail bows, which you can't really see that in, in this. You have to be in the map to see the... Uh, tail bows but I've got blue mane bows um see she has no bows now she has bows then you've got a blue trail this is when your horse is running uh blue comes out behind her now green would come out behind her now we have orange and purple and white and that's pretty much all we have for this horse at the moment um, my other horse does have quite a bit more but I've played her a lot more as well. So we're just going to go ahead and put on these. Let's see, she has both the uh, flower ones on. Let's see what we got for... I could tell we've got white mane bows. I've seen her white mane bows. But see, we have a bunch of masks. We just don't have the other halves to some of them, so. Uh, there's our leopards. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, these are pretty much all of your... All of your things. I've got a lot more for her. I went ahead and changed her bows, her main bows and her tail bows, to pink. 
I think it matches better with that flower theme. We've got blue eyes just because that's my favorite color of eyes. And I have a purple trail that comes out behind her. I think it kind of goes better with that flower theme too. So if you need to collect something though for one of your horses, see level horse 9, um, we can go here. I clicked on uh, top left where it says horse level and it's blinking red. You click right there. It'll bring you to that. All you do is hit win prize. And you'll just do that. We got some leg wraps, starry night leg wraps. And you'll just pretty much hit that button until it says your horse needs to be leveled up more or you need to be leveled up more. Which in my case, it would be the horse. Okay, and we collected everything. So we're back. But I think this will be the end of the first video. If you guys want more, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to the channel. I'd love to see some returning um, viewers, maybe in the past to come. The more views, the more likes, the more videos I will put out there. If it doesn't do too good, you probably won't see any more. But thanks for watching, and please, everybody, have a fantastic day, and have fun. Thanks for watching.